Hey folks, and welcome back to Patia. Today we're going to talk about transportation in Patia and a, a, a means or mode you may not have considered or known about. Uh, I mean, how do you get around town? Do you walk? Do you take the bot bus, ride a scooter? Well, there's another means that I find both economically and ecologically makes sense. So let's jump into this. I get messages from people who like what they see here. They want to come here. They want to live here. A lot of them will say, you know, I've never been on a, a motorcycle before, a scooter, anything with two wheels other than a bicycle. There are uh, bike rentals, scooter rentals, and there are car rentals. Like car rentals, I guess, is more of what we're talking about here, but not your traditional car rental. This is more of an urban short-term rental, although they are available for daily, weekly, and monthly rentals, but we're just going to do a couple hours here. That really is the intended purpose. It's in kind of an urban car sharing. Hey, I just need a car for an hour, two hours, three hours, run some errands, do whatever. So I've come to Dusitani, the Dusitani Resort. We've stayed here before, beautiful property. And this is one of the stations. These are electric cars, full electric, not hybrids, no gasoline motors of any kind. So. That does limit the range. What is the range? Well, according to the specs, I'll go over all the specs, but the range about 160 kilometers or about 100 miles. I'll first go over all the sign up features, how you can do this, the cost, then we'll look at the car. But the funny thing is this, just for openers. If I told you we're gonna drive a sub 2000 pound vehicle that's all wheel drive and has over 400 pounds of torque, that would sound pretty appealing. This thing weighs in at under 1,500 pounds with all that torque, but there's only 14 horsepower. <laughs> so we'll get into this in a minute. So right, this is all bookable by an app, an app called Halp. Halp is the name of the app. So you have to register with them. You do have to send them to get your account verified. You have to send them like a picture of your driver's license, passport, a couple things, agree to all the terms, yada, yada. But once you've signed up for the app, you actually use that to locate a car in your area. It may not be one of these electric cars, but a lot of those are featured on here. Could be a different kind of car. But today we're going to talk about these and it'll tell you where you can pick it up. You schedule it and it gives you the price straight away. So there you go. So cost wise, cost wise comes out to about a hundred baht for an hour. Um, I booked three hours. I booked three hours and five minutes for some strange reason. I don't know. Came out to 305 baht. Uh, you can book an hour. I'm going to put in a longer reservation. Let's, I'm going to do one week and I'll do one month uh, when I get back home and I will show you those figures here on the screen, what I came up with on that search. So you can do longer term. Apparently, there's an option for turning this in at a different location. That might be appealing to some people. Although in Patia, it seemed like there was just several uh, destinations or, or locations. Uh, Naklua, there was one in Jom Tien. So they're not everywhere, but I think Bangkok, that is much more applicable. So I went over the range, about 100 miles, 160 kilometers-ish. Top speed, top speed rated on this the FOM, that's F-O-M-M, -M, the FOM 1, O-N-E, that's the model of the car, not the company you're renting. The company you're renting from is Banpu Next EV. But the actual manufacturer of the car, FOM, they say top speed about 50 miles per hour, which is pretty good on only 14 horsepower. This does need the actual, the real EV charging. You can actually see, I'll show you. This isn't something you're going to plug into your home outlet or an outlet in your garage. You actually need the EV charging station. Are there EV charging stations in Patia? Yes, but not a lot. Uh, I've seen them at the big PTT station on Sukhumvit Road. I'm sure there are some other ones. I'm just not really on the lookout for them. But I don't think it's at the level yet where anywhere you go, you're going to be able to plug in and, and charge up. So maybe Bangkok there again has more options for that. Some of the pros, without even getting in it, it's a tiny car. It's tantamount to a golf cart, which means the streets here a lot of times are small, old, and narrow. And with that, you have to dodge the garbage scows, the food carts, the motorbike taxis, and the bot buses. So sometimes you only have a small, skinny uh, alleyway to squeeze through. That's your vehicle for that. Parking. Parking's at a premium, but here again, this little guy, you could park just about anywhere. You could park this in places where you couldn't even park a Toyota Corolla. It's very distinctive looking. 
I guess that's a pro. <laughs> it's either a pro, a con, or a laugh. How about that? And it should be easy to drive and, and maneuver, but we'll see on the driving impression part. So I'm going to unlock it. We'll go for a little tour of the inside. I basically showed you the outside. I'll see what to do in there, and then we'll go for a ride. All right, so I got it unlocked. You have a little button at the bottom of the app, you push the unlock, you hold it up to the windshield, and it unlocks. <laughs> I don't know how these things work, but it's easy. And when I couldn't figure it out, I messaged customer support, and, but before they even got back to me, they got back to me within a couple minutes, but I figured it out. There's a manual, they send you a link to a manual. Read the manual, don't do what I did. I didn't, I don't read the manual. This is not your everyday car everything is a little bit different there's no gas pedal for starters that's right only one pedal and it's called the brake of course you also have the handbrake or the emergency or e-brake but there is no accelerator pedal you have a handle for that almost like a paddle shifter you just pull that forward that's your acceleration you have buttons to select drive reverse and neutral you just got to hold it in and then release and you're in drive. There's a digital indicator on the dash. I've only driven it less than a kilometer. I wanted to come down here to the beach, kind of get my wherewithal. You know, the first thing, I was in the car business many years. Anytime you're, you get into a, a, a strange car, a new car, first rule, lower a window. You lower a window, you never lock yourself out of the car. So that's what I've done. There is air conditioning and it was cold, but the first impression is it's a little herky-jerky. Uh, there's not much of a suspension on this thing. I, it accelerated right up to 45 kilometers an hour downhill, leaving Doucet. Um, the power was adequate for city driving. Didn't feel like 400 pounds of torque power, but it did feel more like the 14 horsepower it's rated at. I'll tell you this too, there's a back seat, but very tiny. Tiny, minuscule back seat. I could not get the cargo hatch to open, even there was a, there was a nice guy, uh, like a, um, maybe the purser or the, um, the concierge at Dusitani, he was interested in this, he came out and he saw I was having a little trouble getting it unlocked and he kind of uh, helped me out a little bit and he was curious as well, but neither of us, of us could finish, figure out how to open this guy, but you can load from the front, you load, load your stuff in the back seat, it would just be better if this opened, this, this back hatch. I see there's hinges here. It looks like you push, but couldn't figure it out. There again, read the manual. <laughs> I guess one of the last questions to answer is really how does this drive around? Is this a viable transportation option here in Pattaya, Bangkok, or elsewhere? So yeah, I've got the air on full. Let me turn it down because it's going to, there we go. Uh, so we'll take a look at this screen real quick. And here are the buttons. You got drive, neutral, reverse. There's the AC indicator. There you go, it's floored. We'll just, we'll just set it like that for right now. You also have some indicators up here to tell you if your door is open. Uh, I guess battery, if the battery is getting weak, things like that. Of course, your digital gauge is all in one, speedometer. That will change to D or R for driver reverse. And then your battery level is over here. And as you can see now, it's full. There's also a little thing here, how to brake release the accelerator paddles. So apparently you can push two of these paddles to go forward. I just used one and then hit the brake. There is a brake pedal down here. So no radio, but there is the appearance. There are the appearance of speakers. I thought that was kind of odd. Um, another thing, this car sits so low and I just parked here on Beach Road, like many people park. There's nothing special about Beach Road. When I pulled up to the curb, this happened. I could not open the door. So you need to be about a foot or more away from the curb, which is okay because I can open the door now. 
that much, which is enough for me to get out. But I'm still, I'm still not hanging out in the traffic. The left side of my car is probably flush with the one in front of me who's closer to the curb because it's a narrow car. Did that close? This is a, this rattly, it's a little rattly. It's a little, it's a little thin. Okay, I think that's shut. You sit very upright like you're at the dining room table and you have a stealth fighter type steering wheel here with the paddle shifters and the little digital display. It's all, it's all very techy. It's all, <laughs> it's all very quirky, but uh, it is transportation. Let's, let's test the wipers. Okay, one button for spray or spritz and one button to turn on the arm. There you go, so we've cleaned the windshield. High back bucket seats, cloth reclining, but uh, yeah, not much going on back there. Very, very little, if any. No sunroof or anything. The headliner is made of plastic. I wanted to show you, it makes the most annoying sound in the world until you put your seatbelt on. Let's take off and uh, go for a little ride. So here we are. One thing that's a little bit annoying right, right away is you have to keep your hand on this accelerator at all times. If not, uh, you'll, it, it'll actually feel like the brakes are being applied. It's got that electric motor whine to it. It's got a little, <laughs> almost like a, a jet engine warming up. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going 40 kilometers an hour right now. 40, 40 kilometers an hour, there's a red light. Um, it, it, you feel every bump in the road. Every little join in the pavement where the cement is, is joined, you can feel it's a little bit, it's a little bit herky-jerky. Overall, I find it a bit of a chore to drive, but part of that is learning curve. I, I think it's, it shines the most in very slow stop and go traffic. We're gonna, we're gonna test the power, see how it does through the twisties up Pratham Knock Hill. I need both paddles with one paddle. With just the right paddle, it was struggling. I had to put two paddles, but it's hard to do that and hold the camera. Yeah, definitely need that, uh, that other paddle engaged. Oh boy, it feels like it's gonna turn over going up here. golf cart back to one paddle now one paddle around traffic is all you need but you go up a hill you need to be pressing both those acceleration paddles all right I got a message V so uh, she doesn't have me out there waiting for forever I, I only got this thing for three hours So you sit kind of close together in here because it's <laughs> narrow. But uh, we'll we'll go down to the beach. We'll just uh, give V a little ride. This is the exact precise kind of car she would normally get car sick in. Shot me. <laughs> Do I like that? I guess the next logical question is, what if uh, you really like this little guy and you wanted to buy one? Well, they do sell them. 665,000 baht, Thai baht, that's just right at about 20,000 US dollars. And you own it. It's not from the company, it would be from the manufacturer. Um, 
I think I'd rather rent. I think I'm a renter. Is it a viable transportation option for Pattaya, for Bangkok, for wherever they may have these? I think it is for one reason, and that's given the cost. So for 300 baht, I can use this guy for three hours. I can go up to 160 kilometers on the charge. I won't, I won't go anywhere near that, but I have the use of it for three hours. I don't have to put any gas in it. I don't have a rental contract. I don't have a deposit. I just uh, turn the key and go for 300 baht. Put that in perspective, if I wanted to go out, let's just say I wanted to go out to uh, my friend's diner out way out on the dark side. Some people that come here may want to go out there and it's a long taxi. It's about a 220, 230 baht taxi ride. That would be round trip, 460 baht for a boat. And that's a good price, that's a good rate. But here, say a three hour trip, a half hour to get out there, hour and a half to eat and a half hour to go back or whatever it is, 300 baht. So not too bad. It could, it could save you on a taxi, depending where you're going, what you're doing. You do have a little bit of carry room. So for that reason, for those reasons, especially the cost, it's a good option. That's the way I look at it. So maybe your next uh, mode of transportation in the city of fun, Pattaya. <laughs> I'm going to beat it around a little bit more and then we'll take it back. But uh, I think I showed you everything I can show you. I'm, I'm no expert on it. I just uh, got in there for the first time today. I was able to go around, do what I wanted to do with very minimal problems and without reading the manual. <laughs> so now you know a lot more than I knew just an hour ago. So yeah, I guess overall I enjoyed my time in the little Farm One, which I rented from Ban Pu Next EV. And uh, I gotta tell you, you get, you get some, some strange looks in this. It was actually a, a pleasure driving down Soy Bacow with it being so narrow. And look at this, Soy Boomerang is not known for parking, but look, I squeezed in. I found a place and I could kind of coexist with the traffic that was trying to get by. I stopped to get something to eat. You guys know I got to show you a little bit of food, so there you go. But um, everybody I met was curious about it at least. I don't think the looks are good looks or bad looks. They're looks of, of curiosity. <laughs> this lady liked the car. She, she just walked by and she stopped specially, so I showed it to her. But you know, I think uh, I think later these may become more popular. It's relatively new, but it is a good option. I think uh, they had these on display over at Pattaya Klang, the big C at Pattaya Klang, uh, so you could look at the cars as well. But I think the little rental is a pretty good option. So let me know what you think in the comments. Would you rent one of these? But I got to leave this one right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.